I'm Pastor Henry Hildebrandt. Well, here we go. This is what's happening in our world that we're living in today. Cases, 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 and cases. And we are sick and tired of hearing of cases. There is a huge difference between cases and deaths. Let me give you an example of what happened just yesterday. So we have Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla. Uh, he wanted to be tested. He wanted to know, does he have it or not? So he went in once, positive. Twice, negative. Went in the third time, same nurse, same place, same test, and positive again. Fourth time, negative. So that's 50% off. That's what we are hearing. That's what the manufacturer of the PCR test is telling us. It is not made for that. It's not adequate for this. So then we have, all, it could be wrong up to 90% of the time. That is what we're dealing with. So we're looking here at Ontario. So at the beginning of the year, the blue is the, uh, is the uh, uh, testing and the cases, and the red is the deaths. So we see there's all kinds of cases here, uh, and there's the deaths here. And then about right here, somewhere here, mask became mandatory. Isn't that interesting? So then from there on, cases went up. Cases, 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 cases. Where are the deaths? Hardly any. And of course, as we've said in the past, every death is, is tragic. It's uh, always sad. But look, there's hardly any deaths here. Percentages very, very, very low. We see how that what we are, what we are, uh, uh, what the, the graphics or the, what they're showing us isn't anywhere, anywhere near is what they're telling us. So here we have Ontario. We have uh, cumulative con confirmed cases, 415. Uh, confirmed ongoing cases, 44. Resolved cases, 366. Diseased, five. This is for Elgin County and Oxford County. So in all of the, in all of this in total of these two counties, we have five deaths of this whole time. That's what they don't want to talk about. And that's what they don't want to tell you. If we listen to them, to the mainstream media, if you listen to them, how they're talking, it sounds like we would have multiple, multiple funerals in every town, every day. These are the facts. This is what we can go by. Then we see here, we have the public health. Uh, officer closes down uh, uh, the old order Mennonite churches and schools and basically limits their uh, interaction with each other, requires that the community members will follow the public health measures. Now this notice here, this is not done by the government, this is not done by the police, this is done by, by a health, uh, public health officer. That's tremendous. That's what we've been telling you is look at what uh, authority these people are given and look at where they're taking it. Let's go to Manitoba here for a little bit. As we know, Manitoba right now apparently is in the red. Remember, not deaths. Cases, 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 cases are in the red, which we are so sick and tired of, of hearing of that. So we see here by the numbers uh, what is actually there. In total, in total, the province of Manitoba in the past 18 months since the pandemic so-called has began, begun, they have 132 deaths. Right now, Manitoba is shutting down. They're in the red. They are telling us that the critical businesses, retail businesses, uh, of course, we know which ones uh, that includes. That includes the coffee shops, the liquor store, of course, can't forget that. That's all open because that's critical. But then we have religious and cultural gatherings must close or be provided virtually only. That's what I'm talking about. This is what I mean when we say that our, our charter has given us these rights. Everyone has these fundamental rights and right now they're playing with them. Left and right everywhere, taking those away from us. That's what I'm standing up for. By God's grace, with your prayers and your help, we must stand up for our God-given freedoms. God bless you.